Well, Mr. Byrne, first of all, I must congratulate you on the rapturous reception that your play, The Hostage, has had in Paris. Thank you. But according to Jerry. the Times correspondent, and I quote here, he said that it was clear that nine-tenths of the audience failed to understand or even to hear more than one-tenth of the action or the dialogue. Do you think this is a fair assessment? Well, I refuse to uh, believe that they didn't hear it because the um, actors spoke out loud and they speak well and they are very skillful actors and they are very skillfully produced and they speak excellent English. They do not speak BBC English. Uh, on the other hand, I would say that I do not see how most of the audience could have understood the um, dialogue, which was a mixture of Cockney, Dublin, and was generally the language of the people that Chesterton said, we are the people of England and we shall be heard yet, or something like that, except that on this occasion we joined the people of Ireland in with them, just to make things easy for the French theatre going public. But uh, they gave it a, a, a tremendous reception. You don't think that it was you, perhaps, that they appreciated very much, rather more than the play? No, they didn't see me, they didn't know it. I don't see how they, how they could have known of my existence, except they'd read uh, Interpol reports or <laughs> something from Scotland Yard or something. But you well, did, in fact, work for several years in Paris, Mr. Byrne, did you not, as a house painter? Well, I was a painter, but not for several years. I was never a house painter for several years anywhere. For some time? I regard house painting, I regard the whole building trade as a dangerous and hazardous occupation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would walk across Niagara Falls rather than uh, be a house painter again. I would take the risk of several sort of hazardous occupations. Uh, I mean, you could fall off things. But nonetheless, you did work as a house painter oh, yes. in Paris. Yes, we are. Did you find the, the bâtiment in, in mm. Paris? Did you find the French as appreciative as a people then? Yes. I like the French, and I love the French, and uh, I consider not all of them, any more than Derek the Jew would like all the Irish, mm. and that I would like all the English. But most of them, and the working class, I found very kind in a peculiarly offhand way. And I found the uh, French bourgeoisie, even, if you wanted to beg something, well, you would get it quicker from a Frenchman than you would from anybody else. Like, you wouldn't make a song about it. Well, now that you've had success as a writer, then, you have no nostalgia for going back to being a house painter of any kind. Much By God, I can assure you that I have most certainly have not. Well, since you've had this success, you've become something of quite of a literary figure in London. Yes. Are there any aspects of this sort of existence that you don't enjoy? Well, uh, I don't enjoy it being interviewed. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I, I also... Uh, somebody... Uh, I, I was asked one time, had success spoiled me? I said, no, I was always like this. But, uh, but for most of what I like, I enjoy it, actually. For somebody who doesn't like being interviewed, you have given an awful number of interviews, or at least you've been quoted. In I think people, I think people generally like being interviewed, and I think they like a sort of attention, and they uh, sort of th th they mightn't feel so hot at the time for various reasons, into which we shall not go, Derek, at the moment. Well, you but say that uh, success sorry, hasn't changed. Uh, hasn't spoilt you in any way. It has spoiled me. I was changed always like this. Your, your way of life at all. It changed my way of life in that uh, I suppose I I go to, I I go to better beds, but I sleep less well. Mm. Does the extra security mean nothing to you? Not in the slightest. The security that I would like. Uh, the only time that I ever felt secure was when I was working as a house painter on a job in the in a hospital. We were getting 15 pounds a week in 1947, which was a lot of money to us at that time. Mr. Mann, has this success proved a, an added stimulus to you as a writer? No, very much the opposite. I have to go home and now and do a bit of work sometime. And you find this hard and troublesome, do you? I don't find it hard and troublesome at all. I I'm unfortunate in one respect in that uh, I don't like French restaurants because I find them too hot. Same as I find the television here. Well, Mr. Bell, we must put you out of your agony and thank you very much indeed. Shall I be for you?